no female lead, non-dot-linear narrative, the author's mind is chaotic, write whatever comes to mind, ha ha ha, just be happy, if you find it interesting, just treat it as a chaotic fight in the void. Paradise, Abyss, Subspace, Outland, Western Celestial Realm, one by one forces are drawn into a super large world called Split Space. What is attracting the attention of many void aliens to this already dilapidated world? Chapter 1 Death You are listening at NovelFull.audio At this moment, the sky above the Fu Daoist sect in the Pouring Pot Mountain has been printed with a touch of crimson. The corpses were lying haphazardly inside the sect, and the blood on the ground had dried up, rendering the entire sect a crimson hue. Shen Tianjue, today is not only the day of your son's coronation, but also the day of your and your sect's downfall. If you don't join our demon sect, that will be the end. A man, wrapped in blood and holding a blood-stained plain knife, stepped on the body on the ground and shouted arrogantly to Shen Tianjue and his group. Our Fudao sect has been established for a hundred years, and every one of us is a noble and righteous person. How could we possibly be with your demon sect? Even if our fate falls here, we will never. The voice stopped, and the blood-stained plain sword had already been inserted into Shen Tianjue's chest at some point, choking on what he wanted to say next. Father. By the way, and you kid, let's go down with your dad for companionship. The master of Park Dao used extremely fast body movements to kill Shen Tianjue and pointed his knife at Shen Tianjue's son. The tip of the knife was getting closer and closer to the face, mixed with the piercing sound of breaking the wind. Shen Sangsheng, still asleep. An urgent task has been assigned, hurry up and gather in the equipment hall. The tall man in a standard leather coat slapped Shen Sangsheng, who was sleeping soundly. Okay, Captain. Shen Sangsheng agreed and wiped off the cold sweat on his forehead. He quickly put on his uniform and went to the equipment department to collect the gun. Sangsheng arrived at the assembly hall, and several teammates had already been waiting for a long time at this moment. All of them have D.level strength, and besides Shen Sangsheng, the team leader is the strongest among the people present. The tall and strong man who woke up Shen Sangsheng, an elite who has been injected with C.level gene strengthening drugs. Ladies and gentlemen, we have received a notice from our headquarters today that there are severe fluctuations in the depths of the subspace. Due to the strong fluctuations in energy and atmosphere, the Stargazing Society headquarters has ordered us to board deep space vessels with other Stargazing Society branch staff to set up observation machinery at the entrance of the subspace fissure to monitor its movements. The tall man solemnly finished the content of this operation. Everyone present lowered their heads in silence, knowing that this mission might be a one-dot-way ticket. They are just cannon fodder with an average strength of D to C. Although they have known the existence of subspaces since childhood, no one dares to truly delve into the interior of subspaces. The official government of the Rift Space, the Federation, has been fighting against powerful and eerie monsters in the subspace, with great casualties. They do not have the will of federal soldiers to fear their own life and death. Shen Sangsheng pursed his cracked lips and looked at the floor under his feet without saying a word. He was also weighing the danger of this mission. The tall man then added. This time, field workers will be dispatched from various branches of the Star Observing Society, along with a total of 600 groups and more than 6,000 people participating in this operation. Surviving personnel can choose one of the taboos and gene-strengthening drugs below level 5 as a reward, and their current job level in the church will be directly promoted one level. After hearing the reward, Shen Sangsheng clenched his fist and his gaze gradually became firm and sharp. He has been the son of the Daoist master of the Pouring Pot Mountain Talisman since childhood, with extremely high talent. His father also had high expectations for him. However, on the day of his adulthood, a demon sect gathered with experts attacked and slaughtered the mountain gate, and even killed his father. Shen Tianjue. In front of him. And he was also killed by the people of the demon sect, but he did not die. Instead, his soul was guided by a faint white light in an unconscious drift, and was reborn into this new world. 
The split space, a super large world composed of nine great forms. And where he is now, the Stargazing Society is a tightly organized and powerful unofficial secret organization in the airspace. Its main task is to search, study, and shelter supernatural events that occur in the airspace. There is a subspace fissure in the airspace above the fissure, and no one remembers when it was created. However, since the birth of the subspace fissure, there have also been many objects in the fissure that can effectively affect the surrounding environment and organisms through their own power, producing phenomena that cannot be explained. It may be some kind of intangible energy body, or it may be an object with special functions, a special area, a peculiar person, or even a piece of music or written manuscript, etc. The effects and means of activating these objects are also different, and the official government federal government of the airspace refers to these special objects as taboo items. The Stargazing Society where Shen Sangsheng is located often deals with such things. They claim to be sheltering and researching these taboo items to protect civilians in the cracked airspace world from their influence. However, internal personnel know that the Stargazing Society constantly collects dangerous taboo items and recruits talented individuals in order to compete with the official government. Therefore, the Stargazing Society has many powerful high-dot-level leaders. There are rumors that several of the highest behind-the-scenes leaders in their stargazing club have deep cooperation with higher dimensional entities in the subspace that do not belong to this world. Shen Tsangsheng's soul was reborn on a grassroots field worker of the stargazing society. During a mission, the worker's soul was instantly erased by a peculiar taboo object. After being reborn on his body, Shen Tsangsheng, relying on his memories of his previous life in the Fudao sect and the understanding of the world by the deceased staff, went through numerous hardships and gradually trained this body with only D.level potential to withstand higher levels of gene-strengthening drugs. Get stronger. In Shen Tsangsheng's lifetime, if he wants to become strong, strength is the real guarantee. Without strength, not only can he not protect his close friends, but also cannot guarantee his own life. He Shen Tsangsheng thought to himself that since he could live a new life, he must be the favored son of heaven's fortune, and he must be strong enough to stand at the top of this world. Upon hearing the reward, Shen Tsangsheng's eyes ignited with fighting spirit. On the contrary, not many people in the crowd were motivated by the reward. After all, rewards can only be counted as rewards if they have fate to obtain them. They seem to have accepted fate and walked onto the ship. The danger level of subspace is well dot known to everyone in the airspace, which is a world completely opposite to the physical universe. The interior of space is filled with chaotic world rules and disorderly negative energy, which create a diverse ecological environment and eerie and distorted chaotic creatures. It is rumored that within the subspace, if one cannot escape death, it is the best liberation. In this space, reason will be disrupted by its internal rules, the body will be corrupted, and the entire person will be infected and transformed into a chaotic creature of pain and madness. What more people do not understand is that the death of ordinary people in a subspace is not a true end, but a new beginning. After the death of the body, the soul will be imprisoned in the subspace and gradually twisted, enduring the erosion and decomposition of chaotic rules, becoming a part of the subspace in eternal pain. The ships of Shen Sangsheng and his group followed the large army and sailed out of the cracked airspace, charging into the vast void. Along the way, not only the stargazing fleet, but also other forces of all sizes sent personnel to investigate the causes of the violent vibrations inside the cracks in the subspace. The most eye-dot catching is the massive federal government fleet, the official largest force on the surface of the entire airspace. The Federation is a massive government with a bloated and corrupt system, once unifying the nine major worlds in the airspace. It has a strong military capability to resist the chaotic army in the subspace. The high-dot-level government has been fighting against the evil gods in the subspace for hundreds of years, and although it is increasingly declining, it still lacks the power to independently challenge the current federal government. Tens of thousands of fleets from various forces in the nine realms of the cracked space arrived at the entrance of the subspace fissure. The huge entrance of the subspace fissure was like a vast abyss with a seductive purple light, 
and countless spaceships and ships circled around the fissure like ants, afraid to enter. Shen Sangsheng saw such a spectacular scene for the first time through the mirror of the spaceship. At the entrance of the enchanting crack, there is occasional surge of energy, and various ferocious tentacle-like creatures are clinging to the edge of the crack, eroding the space and causing the crack to slowly expand. Everyone, prepare to approach the crack opening, prepare the detection equipment. The captain of the ship began giving orders. Bang! A blue light suddenly flashed out from inside the cracks in the subspace. With the appearance of this blue light, a slender man with silver hair and a deep blue trench coat appeared at the entrance of the subspace fissure. How could someone approach the entrance of the subspace fissure without wearing any protective gear? He is not afraid of his soul being distorted and his body being distorted. Shen Sangsheng looked at the mysterious silver-haired man in the distance with shock. The silver-haired man seems to have suffered a serious injury, with deep blue fluid continuously flowing out of his armpits. At this moment, the subspace boiled up, and crimson blood shot out from the entrance of the originally enchanting purple-red subspace crack. Countless chaotic creatures with dual horns and wings on their backs emerge from within, devouring heaven and earth like locusts. The people on the ship all showed a frightened expression, and their breath could not be concealed. These monsters gushed out from the cracks in the subspace, and each one had C.level strength, which ordinary people could not compete with. Strangely enough, the silver-haired man at the crack entrance couldn't avoid it, and the space around him rippled with ripples. The chaotic creatures near him were instantly divided into particle states. Unable to approach the silver-haired man, the chaotic creatures with numbers like locusts turned their gaze to the fleet. The fleets of all forces have long been prepared, waiting for these monsters to approach and firing together. Unable to resist the endless number of chaotic creatures, the originally crimson boiling subspace cracks have transformed into a dark green filled with decay, and more deformed creatures resembling maggots are shaking their dense tentacles to attack the fleet. At first, relying on the thermal weapons on the ships, chaotic creatures were unable to approach, but as more and more strange and eerie monsters emerged from the subspace, more and more ships had already been devoured and fallen. A broken iron door of the ship was smashed open, and Shen Sangsheng had a grim expression on his face. He covered half of his intestines with one hand and stabbed the chaotic monster's neck with a dagger in his hand. The ship he is on has been invaded by chaotic creatures in multiple places, and multiple teammates have been buried under the monster's mouth. Shen Sangsheng gave himself a shot of adrenaline, and on his way forward, he fought hard to kill a monster before rushing to the medical room and urgently sutured his wound. I am the son of fate. How could I die in this place? My end is not just here. Shen Sangsheng seemed to have opened the Ren Du two veins and fought against several distorted monsters with strength no less than his own along the way, finally stumbling and arriving at the location of the escape boat. He had just boarded the escape boat when he felt a violent explosion. Under the strong impact of the explosion, he piloted the escape boat and flew out of the ship that had died in the explosion. Damn it, the thruster was damaged by the explosion. Shen Sangsheng reluctantly ignited and pushed forward time and time again, and his escape boat slowly floated in the center of the battlefield. The igniter failed, and he could only put his last hope on the remaining fleet to discover him and kindly take him away from this land of trouble. Looking out through the mirror at the spaceship, the original massive fleet was left with nothing, even the well-dot-equipped and technologically advanced federal government fleet was basically destroyed by chaotic creatures. At the same time, chaotic organisms continue to emerge from the cracks in the subspace. Shen Sangsheng gave a miserable smile. After all, it's just a dream, the son of luck. I just hold myself high, he said, raising his dagger to save his own life. Suddenly, the chaotic creatures that were originally like locusts were filled with blue light, causing the space to collapse in an instant. Countless monsters were engulfed in the turbulence of the space and shattered. The collapse of space is still ongoing, slowly collapsing towards the subspace fissure. The silver-haired man stood proudly above the subspace fissure like a towering deity. 
Shen Tsangsheng looked excitedly at the mysterious silver-haired man in the distance and said, treading on the void and stirring up the wind and clouds. Is this the soaring power that my father once told me? What he didn't expect was a hissing coming from within the cracks in the subspace, like the wailing of millions of painful souls echoing through the void. Dot. Shen Tsangsheng was shouted out by this hissing, and half of his mind was lost. His rationality gradually dissipated, and countless crazy murmurs in his mind were like substance. His eyes were flushed with crimson, and his skin was covered with crown-like granulation. Shen Tsangsheng mentioned the last trace of reason, knowing that he had been eroded by chaos and had no hope of survival at all. Memories of the past flashed through his mind like a lantern. He took a last glance at the direction of the silver-haired man and looked enviously. I thought it was a drama of being reborn and returning to rule the world, but it seems that my story has come to an end. After speaking, Shen Tsangsheng stabbed a specially made dagger into his own head. He didn't want to become an irrational monster, so he directly solved himself. At this point, the cultivator of the previous sect, Shen Tsangsheng, was reborn as a genius in the cracked space and passed away. Chapter 2 Invitation You are listening at NovelFull.audio The silver-haired man was deeply moved by the hissing coming from within the subspace, and the power of the collapsed space was interrupted. A blood-red giant hand gradually extended from the subspace, with countless howling heads embedded in the skin of the blood hand. Painful cries echoed into the ears of the silver-haired man, but he instantly regained his composure. His cold and deep blue eyes. He slowly lifted his hands, and countless threads of energy turned into spatial blades, cutting through the bloody hand. The space where the threads passed was also cut open. There was another hissing, and the blood-red hand painfully retracted into the subspace fissure. The silver-haired man looked coldly at his retracted giant hand, about to leave, but a jet of blue blood spurted out. The energy inside the fissure in the subspace surged, and countless ferocious tentacles curled up like waves towards the silver-haired man. The silver-haired man, who had just spat out his blood, didn't want to entangle himself and instantly fled into space, reaching tens of thousands of meters away in the blink of an eye. He covered the wound under his armpit, and several granulations were slowly invading and infecting his body. As the silver-haired man retreated into space again and left, he suddenly felt a change in the scene before him. He, who had already left and was far away from the subspace fissure, not only returned to his original position, but also half-stepped into the interior of the subspace fissure. He felt uneasy and was about to escape when countless tentacles wrapped around his feet. The silver-haired man raised his hand and was about to cut off these tentacles when the blood-colored giant suddenly appeared in front of him, taking a step forward to step on it. The silver-haired man raised his hand and a space shield blocked the attack. Several rusty chains protruded from deep within the shadow of the subspace, one by one inserted into the body of the silver-haired man. The silver-haired man's eyes were fierce, his silver hair gradually perked up, and his internal energy became violent. The surrounding space was also torn apart by this pressure. The silver-haired man burst out laughing, breaking free from the shackles of his ferocious tentacles and bloody sols, and cutting through the rusty iron chains with spatial blades. At this moment, a strong light flashed and a powerful sense of oppression descended upon this place. From the abyss of the void, your strength has been recognized by me. Would you be willing to become the envoy of my infinite paradise and fight for me in this vast void? This powerful consciousness echoed like a bell within the space. Crazy laughter and howls echoed deep in the subspace, and several powerful consciousness beings descended upon this place, full of malice towards the consciousness body claiming to be an infinite paradise in front of them. At this level, you should also know the terrifying nature of the amusement park. My name is Infinite Paradise, which is the most powerful existence in the amusement park today. You should be able to perceive that I am one step higher than you, giving me a thin face. I will compensate for the resources you have lost, and what the amusement park is not lacking in is resources. 
infinite paradise exudes its powerful spiritual energy confidently and says to several evil thoughts deep in the subspace. Several powerful consciousness in the subspace, after a moment of silence, faintly retreated into the depths of chaos. The silver-haired man looked contemptuously at the amusement park consciousness in front of him. I have also eradicated a few amusement park systems like yours, but they are just empty parasites born after the silence of the main god space, jumping clowns who survive by plundering domain resources. But what makes me curious is that you are probably an outsider in the amusement park, and you have developed such a strong sense of self-awareness. In my memory, all the amusement parks should be a group of insects that instinctively control the contractors to seize resources, what you mean is rejecting my invitation. I admit that you were terrifyingly strong during your heyday, but when you arrived in this realm, you were seriously injured. Those big demons just made a move, and now you are even less of a match for me. No one can refuse the indenter I want. The infinite paradise system did not answer the silver-haired man's words, and a pure energy chain shot out of the consciousness body of the empty system, firmly binding the silver-haired man in front of me. The energy in the subspace gradually became chaotic, and the protective layer of the space became increasingly fragile. The silver-haired man let out a loud shout, his blue eyes shining brightly, and several spatial cracks broke out around his body. The original energy modeled and chaotic subspace no longer had the concept of space and time. Now, the silver-haired man has forcibly torn apart the spatial cracks, and the violent dimensional turbulence is sweeping through the energy chains that are imprisoning him outside. The energy chain slowly fades under the impact of dimensional turbulence. Park consciousness exclaimed in surprise. Not yet. If he runs away, if it takes time to recover, we won't have the strength to parry. Wails and screams suddenly rang in the ears of the silver-haired man, and the subspace evil energy that corrupted reason and invaded the body invaded the silver-haired man who was already at the end of his strength. The silver-haired man's deep blue eyes were stained with deadly crimson, and he murmured. The gate of the abyss is almost unstoppable. When that thing gets out of trouble, not only this realm, but the entire void has no existence to compete with. Instead of watching my hometown be devoured with my own eyes, I might as well invite you to bury me. After finishing speaking, the silver-haired man glared angrily at the evil gods and amusement park in front of him, burning his soul and stimulating his whole body's energy. The spatial cracks around him were gradually expanding, collapsing and fusing into small black holes, indiscriminately devouring and smashing all the nearby matter. Just as the silver-haired man was frantically stimulating all his energy, Paradise Consciousness quietly extended energy tentacles and fiercely inserted them into the back of the silver-haired man's brain. It would be a pity if your level explodes, causing me to divide your soul, erase your memories, and become my apostle obediently, fighting for more sources of the world for me. I want to devour the rest of the paradise, and then devour the space that gave birth to our god. I want to become the master of this entire void. The infinite paradise system appeared behind the silver-haired man, speaking grimly. The six powerful consciousnesses have once again descended, containing various chaotic energies of killing, corruption, desire, nightmares, and taboos, constantly eroding the consciousness and body of the silver-haired man. The silver-haired man couldn't resist the wear and tear of several peers, his eyes slowly closed and he reluctantly let go of his last breath of anger. With the fall of the silver-haired man, the black hole beside him shattered and exploded, causing the space to collapse. The dimensional turbulence spewed wildly, and the silver-haired man's body was sucked into the space crack that collapsed after the black hole collapsed. Luyuan's consciousness quickly wrapped around the silver-haired man's body. Fortunately, there are still some soul fragments left in the body, with broken souls and missing memories. In just a few days, I can cultivate a powerful contract apostle. After finding the main god space and devouring it, the domination of the void is just around the corner. The consciousness of the amusement park excitedly enveloped the man's broken body and disappeared into the turbulent flow of space. 
the great demons and evil gods of the five subspaces gradually disappeared into the depths of the subspace after the space cracks healed. The residual spatiotemporal turbulence erodes the interior of the subspace cracks, causing the continuously expanding and eroding entrance of the subspace to gradually calm down. In the second domain of the split space, inside the presidential palace of the federal government, an old man with a stubble on his face looked worried at the abnormal sub-space crack above his head. The report states that the forces in the entire airspace were sent to observe why the abnormal fleet in the subspace fissure has all been lost. Our federal fleet has confirmed that no one has survived. A man dressed as a secretary approached the old man, holding a report in his hand. Let the presiding judge of the trial court and the president of the Anti-Foreign Missionary Society come to see me, the old man ordered without looking at the document. Yes, the secretary man received the order and quickly retreated outward. Not long after, two people, one black and one gold, dressed in coats and uniforms, appeared in the office of the presidential palace. Is it the commotion caused by the demons and evil spirits in the subspace? The old man looked at the man in the golden uniform. I not only sensed the presence of those few individuals, but also the residual aura of the infinite paradise, and even a presence aura that was no weaker than these individuals. I believe that the anomaly in the subspace was caused by a struggle at their level, the blonde man said expressionlessly. Do you have any suggestions? The old man looked at another man in black with a gloomy face. I think this kind of level of struggle is just a matter of watching and watching. Continuing to send people is just a waste of time and energy, and human lives are of no value, said the man in black slowly. The old man pondered for a while and continued, saying. The existence of infinite paradise in this space is even more mysterious than the demons in the Bia space. Judge, do you think forming an alliance with it would be a blessing or a curse for our federation? The man in black said solemnly. Infinite paradise is different from ordinary amusement park systems. It not only gives birth to willpower, but also has stronger levels and strength than me and the president of the anti-foreign abbey. The unpredictability of forming alliances with it is too great. After the judge finished speaking, the president of the anti-foreign abbey, dressed in gold, nodded in agreement. I know that collaborating with the infinite paradise is about seeking skin from a tiger, but in ten thousand years, there have been five evil gods and demons born in the subspace, and there are also constantly alien beings in the void who covet the territory and resources of the vast crack space. Although our federal government has stood for many years, only a few have reached your level now. Fortunately, Due to the long dot standing conflict between several great demons and evil gods, our federation has been struggling for such a long time, but this federation is already in danger in my hands. I can only bet. The gambling amusement park can create a large army of contract players for our federation that can resist subspaces and void aliens. Winning, I will enjoy a hundred years of peace in the nine major domains of the airspace. Losing, no matter what, all forces will reshuffle, and I am worthy of the cultivation of the presidency. After speaking these words, the old man collapsed into his seat, his old face even more tired. Could you please make a trip and sit in this seat? There's too much to think about and do, so please step back and let me stay alone for a while. The old man waved his hand, indicating that he was tired. In a moment, when the old man looked up again, the office was empty. Chapter 3 Awakening You are listening at NovelFull.audio Dida, Dida The blue eyes slowly opened, and the man with silver hair woke up in the center of a stone platform. Are you finally awake? A sudden voice sounded, startling the silver-haired man who was in a state of stagnation when he woke up. A faceless monster surrounded by gray mist stood upright in front of him, and the wisps of grey smoke seemed to have a strong shielding and interfering effect. The silver-haired man was unable to detect the strength and aura of this monster. This shameless monster had a solitary nose on his pale and cracked face, with grey and white eyeballs protruding from his navel and blinking incessantly. He raised his right palm and aimed it at the silver-haired man, 
with a tongue sticking out mouth on his palm, grinning at him with a strange smile. You. Who is this? This is my exclusive personal space in the amusement park, how did you get in? The silver-haired man did not experience any emotional fluctuations due to the strange appearance of the person across from him. Instead, he was very afraid of someone's ability to ignore the rules of the unlimited amusement park, block the perception of the amusement park system, and enter his personal space at will. Who am I? Why don't you ask yourself who you are? The shameless man said to the silver-haired man with his big mouth on his palm. Who am I? My name is Wu Jin, an orphan. I was adopted by the amusement park and signed a contract since I was young. I have fought countless domains step by step, and now I am the seventh level contract apostle of the infinite park. The silver-haired man named Wu Jin had not had time to think, but this sentence blurted out like a set program. The faceless stranger scratched his bald head with worry and murmured. I see, except for the name, all other memories have been replaced by the amusement park. The faceless stranger suddenly approached the silver-haired man and abruptly raised his nose to take a deep breath from his side. The silver-haired man's gaze became cold, and as the strange person approached him, he waved his hands and saw the space blades shining with a faint blue light. The faceless monster didn't dodge or dodge, his eyeballs and pupils narrowed, and the space that kept getting closer shattered with sharp blades. The silver-haired man who had intended to continue his troubles was also locked in place, with only a pair of dark blue eyes staring fiercely at the faceless man in front of him. However, he couldn't control his body and energy, and became a fish on the cutting board across from him. The faceless stranger walked calmly to the silver-haired man, took a deep breath, and closed the eyeballs on his navel, as if savoring. My soul is shattered and I still remember my fighting instincts of attacking and defending, but my will has been severely eroded. If I come later, you will soon be transformed into its killing machine by this amusement park. The big mouth on the palm of the faceless monster finished speaking, and then a pale blue crystal emitting a terrifying aura came out of his mouth. When this crystal appeared, the originally cold-looking person was stunned. He felt the call of the soul's origin, and both his spirit and body were eager for the return of this crystal in front of him, as if this crystal was already one with him. What is this? I feel like it's mine, it's already mine. The silver-haired man's gaze began to blur. The faceless stranger raised the crystal in his hand, emitting a blue light as it slowly rose and spiritually penetrated the silver-haired man's brain. The frozen body regained its freedom, and the silver-haired man stood motionless in place. A strange but familiar memory filled his mind, and a full source of energy washed his whole body. The originally empty and emotionless eyes have a slight expression. The most important thing is that his perennial sense of soul emptiness has also faded away with the integration of crystals. I, the gate of the abyss, I am the controller of dimensional space, the destroyer of cosmic anomalies, and the ultimate person who resets the void within the gate of the abyss. I am. Infinite. Infinite knocked on his head, and the memory fragments that filled his mind suddenly weighed heavily on him. He looked up at the faceless stranger, becoming increasingly familiar as his identity and name paused before his eyes. You are. I know you, and you are also a person from the abyss. You. Are the playwright, your. Name is Nightmare. As the fragments of memory gradually pieced together, the energy in your body became more and more abundant, and the boundless gaze became more and more resolute. The boundless standing on the stone platform, who had regained their memories and strength, trembled in the surrounding space, and a strong breath dissipated. This space was almost unable to support the existence of these two people. The shameless monster Jie Jie gave a strange smile. It took me a lot of effort to collect this soul fragment from you. It seems like it can restore a lot of your memory and sanity. Hmm. That guy has such strong perception. A strong detection ability swept through this space, and the space that was originally shrouded in thick gray mist instantly dissipated halfway. The faceless monster named OG let out a strange cry. 
The power of this unlimited amusement park system is very strong, more like the dead ghost of the main god space than any other amusement park I have seen. I have to hurry and leave. The storyteller is not as good at combat as you are. If it finds out, I don't have the confidence to run away safely. The mist shrouded in front of me, and my figure slowly faded. Before the figure disappeared, a terrible sound came from the mist. Infinite, the abyss gate can no longer trap that guy, and soon it will reappear in the void. After that catastrophe, we have lost many companions, and the remaining companions are still sticking to the gate. When the gate breaks, they will also come to this super large realm to meet you one after another. I haven't been here for a long time, but through my observation, there are many beings hidden in the nine realms of the rift space that are not weaker than you and me, not to mention the evil gods, big demons, and this powerful and somewhat absurd paradise system in the subspace. With your current strength, you are unable to resist these beings. You can try collecting fragments of your past soul first. Our souls are too powerful to easily melt into the world without external intervention. This is my projection clone, and I have other tasks to complete. I hope you can restore your previous strength before the door is broken, otherwise we won't win against it the words did not fall, and the dark figure completely dissipated. Looking towards the place where the nightmare disappeared, a grey flesh slowly wriggled on the ground. Suddenly, the mechanical sound of the system came from within the park space. Attention, contractors above level A in Infinite Park. If any unknown void creatures are found invading the space, please report to the system immediately. Kill invading creatures, reward level 5 taboo items for killing contract holders, and park coins the gray mist completely dissipated, and the detection power of the amusement park system did not detect any abnormal atmosphere. Wu Jin directly blocks the system's voice, sitting in the center of the stone platform to regulate internal energy and organize the extra memories in the mind. According to the division of strength between the amusement park and this realm, after integrating this soul crystallization, he has risen from A. When he just woke up to A+. However, there is still a significant gap between his peak strength and his previous strength. Conservatively speaking, his former strength has surpassed the world's peak SSS level, and the evil gods and demons in the subspace are estimated to hover around this SS level. The strength of this infinite paradise has definitely reached SSS level. Just as I was lost in thought, an untimely voice suddenly appeared. Unlimited Paradise Special Covenant, Apostle. Infinite System Release Task. Go to the stargazing branch of the ninth realm in the rift space and seize the ninth level taboo item. The Latitude Elevator. Contract Apostle Level. A plus note. Contract apostles are prohibited from entering the dimensional elevator. Note. Once you enter the elevator, you will lose contact with the amusement park. Note. The danger level inside the elevator is super high. Contractors must enter it. Reward for completion. Level 5 taboo items, amusement park permission level Wujian once again ignored the reward content afterwards. His previous level was completely disdainful of these ordinary rewards, and taboos below level 8 could not have any impact on his existence at this level. What interests him is that this level 9 taboo. Dimensional Elevator. Has the ability to block the perception of the amusement park and temporarily cut off his connection with it. This is something that surprised everyone. After being brought into the amusement park, the contractor will be bound by the system and leave a mark. His current strength is not far from the peak, and if he wants to peel off this mark, he will definitely be perceived by the amusement park. His soul and memory, which he struggled to recover, he did not want to be transformed into a machine for killing and looting in a paradise again. On the surface, the expressionless Wu Jin confirmed taking on this task, and a playful smile slowly curled up at the corner of his mouth. Chapter 4 Stargazing Meeting You are listening at NovelFull.audio Taboo items are a collective term used by the authorities in the airspace to refer to objects with extraordinary properties. 
These artifacts may be equipment produced within the amusement park system, items that have long been contaminated with subspace chaotic energy and have special effects, magical items created after reaching a certain level of strength, and rare treasures explored in the depths of the void outside the cracked space. These taboo items are classified into levels 1 to 10 based on their ability and level of danger, from low to high. Most forces in the cracked airspace trade and plunder various taboo items with each other to consolidate their status and influence. The Stargazing Society is a powerful force that can be counted in the airspace, with a strict hierarchy of personnel within it. They are well dot known among the people of the nine major domains within the cracked airspace for auctioning, accommodating, and controlling various high dot risk taboos. Due to its strong capabilities, the vast open space of the Nine Realms is home to various research branches and field outposts of the Stargazing Society. A strong light fell into a suspended giant building within the Ninth Federal City, the ninth boundary of the Rift Domain. Stepping out of the room that had been shattered into ruins by the strong light, Wu Jian rubbed his head and a super-fast energy transfer crashed straight into the interior of the Stargazing Club building. Wu Jian looked silently at the ruins in front of him. The amusement park knew that its strength was not weak, and every time it sent him on a mission, it openly threw him into the enemy's interior, allowing him to play on his own. Of course, at that time, Wu Jian, who had not regained his memory, was a ruthless assassin who could always complete the mission without anyone noticing. Sooner or later, I'll be fooled to death by you dog thing. After I recover my strength, Wu Jian cursed inwardly, retreated into the pocket space he created, and quickly left this place. In a large living room at the center of the building, the soft large bed was nestled high and raised. The sound of a huge heavy object hitting the building suddenly came, causing it to shake. The bald old man snoring on the bed was awakened by the sound. Is there another inconspicuous force that is provoking the authority of my stargazing club? He cursed a few times, suppressed the fire, got out of bed, put on a red robe, and stormed out of the room in anger. The alarm sounded inside the building, and I was transported to a miscellaneous room through my pocket space. He opened the direction prompt provided by the system, planned the route, and was about to continue moving forward. Bang! Bang! Several thunderous sounds echoed inside the building. Damn it! What is the purpose of the amusement park? There used to be no teleportation to the mission site like this before. I ate so much breakfast, which made me feel nauseous all at once. A bald man with swollen muscles and scars squatted on the ground, vomiting. Hurry up! With such a big commotion, the stargazing society must have been on guard and staying here would be dangerous. A prominent black-clad woman shouted solemnly at the bald man. Our mission is to live for 24 hours in the stargazing club memory. With such a big disturbance in the dog park system, if you want to find a safe and secluded place to pass this mission, don't think about it, analyzed a refined man wearing golden glasses and a suit. Hurry up, if you're late, you'll change. Once this mission is completed, I'll have the opportunity to advance to the quasi-A dot level. Those who want to die, just stay here and complain. A young man wearing a white cultivation robe, who was out of place with the others, said to them and immediately stood up and left. Everyone glanced at each other and quickly got up to leave. The four of them had just left when they were hit by their teleportation energy, causing the collapsed ruins to slowly emerge from their pocket space. Interestingly, Infinite Park also sent four cannon fodder specifically to attract firepower for me. It seems that the latitude elevator is a wonderful thing. Looking at the four distant figures, I turned around and retreated into the pocket space. Hello. Shen Sangsheng. Do you know the way? Just run around here with us. This broken amusement park system doesn't give any map prompts. If we happen to bump into the guards of the stargazing club, we will be in danger. The bald man ran to the leading boy's side. That's right, this person is the reborn Shin Sangsheng who self-destructed at the fissure in the subspace. At that time, Shin Sangsheng's mind and body were distorted by the roar of evil gods. 
In order to avoid becoming a monster, he chose to self-destruct. But what he didn't expect was that although he chose to commit suicide, his distorted body gave him stronger vitality. At the end of the event in the subspace fissure, Shen Sangshan, who had a breath left, was packed by the system and brought into the infinite amusement park. I used to be a field worker at the stargazing club branch, and this building used to be where I worked, Shen Sangshan said expressionlessly to the strong man beside him, his speed not slowing down at all. After hearing this, the woman in black was overjoyed and quickly said to Shen Sangshan in front of her. That's great. Do you know the more secretive place here? Let's dodge there for a while. Shen Sangshan shook his head and said. Why do you think the stargazing society has been standing in the open space for so many years without collapsing, and the federal government is not sure about the power to ban it? Do you think its base is as simple as you think? This base contains 70% of the advanced taboo items in the ninth realm of the cracked airspace, and its strength is as strong as a few of you. I can't even count it with one hand. There are countless low-dot-level guards, hiding in places waiting for death. The woman in black's face turned gray after listening, and her running legs felt a bit weak. It's over, it's over. I just got my B.Level strength. I can't even defeat B.Level people. I might not be able to go back this time. Although the woman continued to run with a few people, her mind was already a bit dazed. Shen Sangsheng, who was leading the way, suddenly stopped abruptly and rushed into the nearby Iron Gate. The bald man and the man in suit who followed behind quickly stopped and followed through the iron door on their side. Only the woman slowed down a step because she was still daydreaming. An old man dressed in a red robe suddenly appeared across the corridor, holding a quaint-looking revolver and pressing the trigger at her. Ah, ah. The woman was hit in the abdomen by an invisible bullet and fell to the ground in pain and grief. There was no fresh blood flowing from the abdomen but the skin on the abdomen that was shot gradually aged and decayed, and then quickly spread throughout the body. By the time the old man in the red robe approached, the once outstanding woman had aged into a withered and bony old man on the brink of death. The old man in the red robe glanced at the iron gate where Shen Sangsheng had escaped, and the walls of the room were shattered, leaving the few people nowhere to be seen. The old man turned his eyes to look at the withered old lady who was already panting with pale eyes, and stomped on her head with one foot. With the death of the woman in black, a mark symbolizing infinite paradise slowly rose from her body. The contractors of infinite paradise. What will they be doing when they come to observe the stars? Is it a task assigned to them by infinite paradise? The old man in red looked at the park mark, which had turned into dust and dispersed with the wind, puzzled. The old man in a red robe immediately got up and left here, quickly arriving at his office. He opened the projector in the center of the office and connected it to the communication device at the headquarters of the stargazing club. Not long after, a middle-aged man dressed in a purple robe appeared in the center of the screen. Bishop Trek, what are you looking for me for? The middle-aged man in the purple robe slowly spoke on the screen. This old man named Trek is the red-robed bishop of this base. After bowing respectfully, he quickly said. Archbishop Peer, the stargazing branch managed by my subordinate has been invaded by the contractors of infinite paradise. I have heard that the contractors in the paradise are very mysterious, and they must have been assigned tasks when they come here. Therefore, I am disturbing the archbishop and requesting further instructions. The middle-aged man in the purple robe named Peel put away his previous carelessness and gradually became serious when he heard about Infinite Paradise. The contractors of the amusement park. Do you know how many people have come? Try to catch them alive and extract useful information from their mouths, Peel said seriously. After listening, Trek hesitated and asked. Archbishop, but Infinite Paradise and the Federation have an alliance relationship, and the Federation is already eyeing forces like us that are not under its control. Will we offend these two giants at the same time? Joke. My stargazing club has stood tall in this world for centuries, and the resources and manpower I control are endless. 
They have all moved the ground on us, and if we don't fight back, how will outsiders see our stargazing club? Archbishop Peer said angrily in his middle age. Trek had something else to say, but Peel interrupted him and continued. I have already reported this matter to the Star Lord. Don't worry, if something happens, there will be a tall one to stand up for. The four star masters of our star observing society are not something they can easily move. Just go ahead and do it. Also, take care of your branch's church property, especially those high dot level taboos. If one is missing, you can also disappear from this world. With a snap, the connection was disconnected. Trek felt a headache as he touched the few remaining strands of hair on top of his head and quickly gathered his hands. Call me the Star Killer Guard from the base and have them guard the restricted area inside. Except for me, anyone else wants to break in and kill without mercy. Let the people from the Ministry of Science and Technology and the Research Department carefully check the surveillance, and the other field workers and guards do their best to find me inside the base. Remember. Just leave one alive, I'll kill everyone else. Trek sternly ordered. Yes. His subordinates left in response. Shen Sangshen. Who was that guy wearing a red robe just now? He can kill Lina with just one strike, is he a dot level strength? The strong man asked Shen Sangshen beside him in confusion. At this point, the remaining three people are hiding in the storage room where they had previously hidden before Wu Jian. That is the red robed bishop of this stargazing branch, Trek. The red robed bishops of the stargazing society have a strength of around a dot level. Only by truly entering the A. Level threshold can they become the purple robed archbishop of the Stargazing Society and settle in the headquarters of the Stargazing Society, Shen Sangsheng explained to everyone. Mom, whether it's A. Level or quasi A. Level, it's not something we can match. It's as simple as pinching a few ants to kill us, said the man in the suit with a very ugly expression on his face. Shen Sangsheng also pondered the next steps with a solemn expression. After being reborn in the amusement park, his strength has rapidly improved. In just a few years, he has gradually reached the peak of B.Level strength from C.Level, and even his system consciousness has personally come to him to paint a pie, saying that Shen Sangsheng's entry into A.Level is just around the corner, and he can then be upgraded to the contract apostle of the amusement park. In the future, he has the opportunity to follow the amusement park to fight in the void world. After reaching level B, each level of strength climb requires a lot of resources and accumulation, and quasi-level A is the highest level that ordinary people can reach by stacking resources. As for the subsequent levels, not only do they need massive resources, but they also need their own physical fitness and talent. Otherwise, they will have to stop at quasi-level A for life. Shen Sangsheng is now at the peak of B. Level but he has absolutely no room to fight back against people with quasi-A.level strength, which makes him feel mixed emotions. Bishop Trek is the confidant of a purple-robed archbishop at the headquarters of the Stargazing Society. His strength comes from the massive resources accumulated by the Stargazing Society. Due to his genetic mutation, he has the ability to decay his body. The purple-robed archbishop has great confidence in him and has found a forbidden item that is still as high as level 8 after being damaged. The demon concubine. Shen Sangsheng said with a complex expression. Is Lina killed by that weapon? The bald man asked. That's right, I once heard an elderly person in the church say that it is a unique taboo that can change its form according to the energy inside the owner's body. It has three forms. A revolver, a flying sword, and a short sword. One hit from the revolver is a kill, which condenses the user's abilities and compresses them before firing. However, after firing one shot, there is a five-minute interval. The flying sword master's sneak attack interference can be condensed into several flying swords to attack enemies based on the user's strength, but there is also a five-minute time interval. The short sword master engages in close combat, and the user only needs to consume a small amount of energy to attach to the short sword and attack and kill enemies. 
The power is impressive and there is no time limit. This taboo item is extremely eerie. With this weapon, Trek, who has quasi A. level strength, can definitely be considered one of the best in his class. Even a true A. level person could be seriously injured by Trek, who holds this weapon, in the event of a surprise attack when Shin Sunshing explained the strength of the red robed bishop of the stargazing society to everyone, they did not realize that an additional figure had appeared in the small room, which originally had only three people. Yaoji, interesting toys, I'm very interested. Toys. With this taboo, the old man has no way we can survive. The man in the suit angrily shouted at the voice he had just heard, but he immediately froze in place. A silver-haired man in a blue trench coat was playfully staring at the three people in front of him. Chapter 5 New Toys You are listening at NovelFull.audio Everyone was startled by the sudden appearance of the mysterious man, and the bald man roared loudly. Discovered. Take him down. As soon as the words fell, the strong man's muscles and veins wriggled all over, charging towards the silver-haired man like a wild bull. Stop it. Shen Sangsheng grabbed the strong man's arm with one hand and dragged him back to his original position. Shen Sangsheng looked up at the man in front of him with an incredulous tremble in his words. I remember you, you were the person in the subspace fissure at that time. Shen Sangsheng recalled the silver-haired man in front of him standing proudly like a deity at the entrance of the subspace, fighting against the evil god and demon, with a tense and dry throat. This mysterious silver-haired man was Wu Jin. He was hiding in the dark when he saw a woman named Lina being killed by Trek, and then fled into his pocket space to follow these people to this familiar miscellaneous room. Wu Jin's current A-plus level strength roams unstoppably within this stargazing base. Unless he wants, no one can easily catch him. Even if he does, no one has the ability to use two moves in his hands. But he wanted to see what kind of talented people the amusement park had sent to help him delay time and attract firepower, but what disappointed him was that apart from Shin Sangshin, who recognized him, the few people present had poor strength and mentality. Even if they managed to survive and return to the amusement park this time, the next mission could potentially kill them at any time. At that time, there were actually ordinary people who survived in that situation. How did you do it, and even became the contractor of the amusement park, asked Shin Sangsheng as he looked at him. Shin Sangsheng was well aware of the terror of the silver-haired man in front of him. He was definitely in existence at the level of evil gods and demons in the subspace, and he was not a creature in the same dimension as himself. Shin Sangsheng dared not hide anything from him. At that time, I was contaminated by chaotic evil energy in the subspace fissure. I didn't want to become a willless monster, so I chose to self-destruct. However, my corrupted body, although distorted, gave me the vitality of a monster. When I lost consciousness, I still had a breath left. When I woke up, I was already in the system of infinite paradise. Shen Tsangsheng replied truthfully. No wonder you not only have a completely new energy in your body that is completely different from this world, but also integrates the chaotic energy of the subspace. At your age, you have reached the peak of B.level strength, which shows that you are also a very talented person, and your luck is also very good. Wu Jin Yolan's eyes flickered and he looked at Shen Sangsheng. This energy is my secret. Shen Sangsheng was curious about his strength but he glanced at the two people next to him and realized that it was very dangerous to give his card tray to outsiders. Unconsciously knowing what Shen Sangsheng was thinking, he stared into Shen Sangsheng's eyes and said word by word. With these two people, you have no way out. Follow me and find that bald guy. I'm very interested in that weapon. Of course, I can also guarantee that you complete this mission. After hearing this, Shen Sangsheng quickly bent down to kneel and thanked the way of lying with his thighs. Wu Jian immediately stopped him and continued to say. Infinite Paradise has trapped me now, and I will settle this account with it in the future. Its contract holder is also my target for hunting. You are very interesting. You can choose between me and Paradise now. 
Shen Sangsheng's originally joyful heart sank to the bottom after listening to this sentence. This is asking him to stand in line. If you choose a silver-haired man, you will betray infinite paradise. If you choose paradise, he will die now. The bald man and the man in a suit were still confused when they heard that the silver-haired man had a grudge against the amusement park. They both moved slowly towards the door in tacit agreement. Wu Jian raised his hand and clenched his fist with a fierce pull, causing several blue energy threads in the room to contract. The man in the suit, who was originally still moving, turned into pieces on the ground. The strong man rolled his eyes when he saw this scene, and he was so scared that he fainted. As the park mark of the man in the suit slowly rose, he exerted the power of space to wrap around the still lingering mark and threw it into his pocket space. Now it's you, infinite paradise, it's still me, he said to Shen Sangsheng, squinting at the bald man who had fainted. At this moment, Shen Sangsheng lost his usual composure, with cold beads of sweat on his forehead. Do you want to die now or in the future? Fight. In the face of life and death, Shen Sangsheng's feet trembled uncontrollably. Although he had already relied on his incredible luck to survive through rebirth and the system twice, he dared not bet that he could continue his luck in the next death. Shen Sangsheng slowly exhaled and looked straight at the bald man who had fainted. Don't blame me, this world is like the law of the jungle. After speaking, Shen Sangsheng offered a precious sword from his mouth and struck off the head of the bald man with one sword. After finishing all of this, Shen Sangsheng's feet softened and he knelt down on the ground. The imprint of the amusement park slowly rose and was saved again in the same way, thrown into the pocket space. Looking at Shen Sangsheng, whose face was as pale as ashes, he casually said. Isn't it true that your cultivation world emphasizes cultivating one's body and mind? In such a situation, one's heart will be shattered, and they won't be afraid of going crazy and not making progress in the future. After hearing this, Shen Sangsheng looked up in surprise at Wu Jin. The existence of infinite paradise is not something you can resist. Since you have shown sincerity, I also make a promise to you. After this mission, you will still be the contractor of Infinite Park, and the park system will not be aware of today's situation, after all, your little cannon fodder will not specifically detect you. But you have to hide inside the amusement park and do things for me. If one day, I lose between me and the amusement park, you continue to be your contractor, and I win, then there will be no infinite amusement park in this world he casually said to Shen Sangsheng. Shen Sangsheng's face did not improve due to Wu Jian's words. He asked Wu Jian. How do you know the word, cultivation? There is no suitable energy for cultivation in the rules of this world, so no one knows professional terms such as cultivation and Tao Xian. After hearing this, Wu Jian smiled and said, You are a reborn person. Don't think that the memories of two lifetimes are the son of Qi. There are countless beings in the void and all worlds, and you are not the only one who can be supported by Qi to be reborn after death. Most of them are talented individuals who possess great fortune, and some worlds also refer to them as destiny or destiny. What light does your eyes emit? Your talent is already at the end of the line among them. Although these people have a halo, those who can grow up are also rare, after all, the reborn are also humans, and if they are humans, they will die when it comes to the word, death, the tone is intensified with a wicked and playful tone. After hearing this, Shen Sangsheng felt that his worldview had undergone a earth-shattering change again, and he curiously asked Wu Jin. How could you know all this? Don't you belong to this world, are you also a reborn one? He he, I'm not. But I have indeed been to many worlds, and I have heard of your cultivation system. Wu Jin smiled and blinked, reaching out his hand to Shen Sangsheng. Don't waste time, my name is Wu Jin. You can call me Wu Jin in the future, or you can call me Jian Gu. Let's go get that toy called, Yao Ji, and tell me where the old man usually stays. Shen Sangsheng thought for a moment and said, his office, on the 88th floor of this giant building base, is his residence and office space. He should be there. 
After speaking, he reached out and grabbed the hand handed over by Wu Jin. The space behind Wu Jin was like water droplets dripping and rippling, and he was pulled into the pocket space by Wu Jin. Shen Sangsheng felt his body plummeting rapidly, but he did not land. Instead, he was pulled out step by step. They arrived at the 88th floor of the base in two seconds. Leaving Shen Sangsheng unsteadily strolling around in this magnificent palace-like room, Shen Sangsheng dared not stay too far from his thighs and followed him with his butt bumping. You guys are so bold. I dare to boldly break into my dormitory like this. A sudden voice rang out, an old man Trek, dressed in a red robe, appeared at the end of the corridor in the distance. Trek held the communicator and cursed. Where's the guard at the door? Someone broke into my house. How do you work? Can two living people sneak in under your nose? The communicator immediately responded. Your Highness, we haven't found anyone breaking in at all. Please wait a moment. We will come over to support you immediately. Trek pursed his lips and said, what a bunch of trash. When you arrive, you'll just have enough time to clean up the battlefield here. After speaking, Trek grinned and took out a quaint revolver, shooting in the direction of Shen Sangsheng. Shen Sangsheng didn't have time to react and quickly struck dozens of talismans in front of him. When the talisman came into contact with the invisible and decaying bullet, it had not even had time to release the energy stored in it before it had already decayed into flying ash. But fortunately, Shen Sangsheng's survival instinct led him to shoot dozens of talismans in countless quantities, delaying the time for some bullets, and finally narrowly avoiding a disaster by rubbing against the edge of the bullets. The pure white Taoist robe that was hit by a bullet quickly decayed. Shen Sangsheng took off all his clothes in a disheveled manner and checked his expression to see if he had been hit by the bullet. Only then did he quickly hide to the side. Brother Jian, the left wheel has entered the gap, be careful of flying swords. Shen Sangsheng hid behind a large cabinet and shouted to Wu Jian, who was standing in the corridor with confidence. Oh. You actually know the information about the Yaoji, so you should know even more. Faced with me holding the Yaoji, you can only surrender obediently and tell me the purpose of sending you to infinite paradise. By the way, you two can only live one. Let me think about who to kill and who to keep Trek's left will transformed into six exquisite flying swords entwined with decaying black air, hovering around his body. Whoosh! A flying sword shot rapidly towards Wu Jin's chest, and Wu Jin closed his eyes and leaned back, disappearing into the pocket space into place. After a failed blow, Trek felt a bit dazed, and the sudden disappearance of the opponent caught him off guard. A hand rested on his shoulder, and Trek trembled with fear from it. Whoosh, whoosh. The remaining five flying swords quickly shot towards Trek's back. After manipulating the flying sword and stabbing towards the rear, Trek immediately took two steps forward and turned back to look. Wu Jian stood in front of him like this, and the five decaying swords disappeared into his pocket space. Just as Trek began to wonder how the silver-haired man in front of him resolved the attack, a piercing pain came from his back. Trek retreated in pain and reached out to pull out five flying swords stained with his own blood. Trek looked incredulously at the man in front of him with a smile on his face, feeling a chill in his heart. The power of decay surged within him, and although his own gene with the power of decay could neutralize most of it, the penetrating injury brought by the flying sword made him suffer greatly. At this moment, the chaotic footsteps came. A large number of guards dressed in stargazing-style leather armor rushed over with guns, surrounding the endless circle. Kill him for me. After the recent confrontation, Trek was already timid. He knew that the silver-haired man in front of him was definitely at the level of the purple-robed archbishop, and he was definitely not a match. The guards received orders to all open fire on Wu Jian, and Trek immediately retreated from the crowd when he saw the situation. When he retreated to the outskirts of the crowd, he saw Shen Sangsheng sneaking out of the room. Trek roared, feeling humiliated today as a towering red-robed bishop. Seeing Shen Sangsheng, who was not as strong as him, Trek immediately chased after him. Where are you going? 
the familiar voice reappeared behind Trek. Trek turned around with empty eyes, only to see that the hundreds of guards who had been spitting fire snakes the previous second had turned into corpses on the ground. You can't control this toy, Yaoji. Give it to me quickly. With an infinite smile, she reached out her hand to Trek. Chapter 6 Demon Concubine You are listening at NovelFull.audio 6 Demon Concubine, well, I'll give you the witch. Can you spare the old man's life? Trek said with a smile that was even uglier than crying, trembling in front of him. Sure, I don't have any grudges with you guys. With a faint glance at the mountains of corpses and blood behind me, he smiled and said to Trek. Before, I was just defending and counterattacking. I never took the lead in attacking you, did I? Bishop Trek dared not say anything. He took the initiative to cut off contact with the forbidden object and obediently handed the witch, whose hand had been transformed into a short sword, to Wu Jin's hand. When the witch touched Wu Jin's palm, a spiritual force was transmitted into Wu Jin's brain through the palm, and the short sword trembled instantly. Sleeping slot. What kind of monster did you sell me to, you terrible old man? Which evil god or big demon in the subspace? Is your aura so strong? Hey. No, your soul is not complete, and your overall state is also very weak. Your current strength should only be at level A. The demon maiden in the form of a short sword hovered around the waist of Wu Jian, like a long-tongued woman, constantly marveling at the uniqueness of Wu Jian. Does this taboo thing speak? Does it have its own consciousness? Is it an old lady or a mother sword? He looked at Trek, who was already stunned. Oh, I don't say it. I've never seen it react like this before when I held it, have I? Trek felt dizzy and rubbed his eyes as he looked at the fairy concubine short sword hovering around his boundless body. At this moment, the witch transformed into a revolver and pressed against Trek's forehead, causing Trek's feet to soften and he sat down. You think everyone is qualified to talk to me, but don't you look at me. I'm so tired of you. You're going to be buried below your neck, and I have to carefully look at the age spots and corpse spots on your face every time to recognize them. Also, every time your disgusting and decaying power pours into my body, do you know how painful I am? Do you know that aging is the biggest enemy of girls? I really want to shoot you in one shot. The witch shot at Trek like a machine gun, and Trek was already cursed like a chicken, afraid to lift his head. The taboo item that gives birth to will is very rare. Before being damaged, you should be at least a level 9 taboo item, right? Who broke you? Wu Jin grabbed the left wheel. After being grasped by Wu Jin, the once simple gun body shed dust, and the silver gun body emitted a cold light. Exquisite blue floral patterns appeared around the gun body. Master, you've come up with an idea. If I stay in the hands of this old Bankai, I'll eventually die in his hands. Not to mention avenging me. The witch began to chatter incessantly. With a black thread all over his head, he said to the witch in his hand. Focus on the point. If you have one more piece of nonsense, just keep following this old man. Don't. Don't. I'll say it. The witch transformed into a silver short sword with blue floral patterns and hid behind Wu Jian, indicating that she really despised Trek. I was not born in this world, I can't remember the person who created me. However, according to the ranking of taboos here, should be able to reach level 10. When I drifted to this world in the void, I was captured by a big demon in the subspace. There are two magic weapons in the hands of this subspace demon, both of which can devour taboos to strengthen myself. At that time, both I and them were at the level of level 10 taboos, and they were also objects that gave birth to willpower. Although they were both a bit silly, I could see that they wanted to devour me very much. So I fought against these two goods for 10 days and 10 nights, and, tell me the point. A snap of a finger hit the tip of the Yaoji short sword, and said displeased. Ah, uh, I was beaten up. My main function is to enhance the user's ability, 
and my own strength and destructive power cannot be compared to them. Although I was beaten, I am also a level 10 taboo item. Can't I run? But that big demon and demon soldier bullied me, a weak woman, and almost broke me up. I just dropped from level 10 to level 7. By the way, the names of those two magic weapons are divided into desolation and dirtiness. The branch is a shovel and a hoe. The demon concubine's short sword chattered incessantly about how she had fallen from grace. The shovel and hoe seem to be the controllers of the death zone within the subspace. The plague garden, the great unclean demon. Wu Jin has an impression of this subspace demon, whose essence is a terrifying demon born within the subspace after the concretization of plagues, decay, and viruses in the world. It has two level 10 taboo items as weapons. The object touched by the shovel called desolation will quickly absorb its vitality and turn into decay, while the other hoe called desolation will spread the plague of death and extinction of vitality. Wu Jin transformed the witch into an exquisite short sword and wore it around her waist. Brother Jian, since the taboo has been obtained, Bishop Trek is no longer useful. Kill him. Shen Sangsheng revealed his head somewhere and rushed towards Wu Jian with an excited expression on his face. Uh, big, big, you promised me. You said as long as I hand over the witch to you, you won't kill me, right? Trek beside him was scared to the point of sweating profusely, jumping and crying in despair. Without hesitation, he touched his chin and glanced at both Shen Sangsheng and Sueka. I did promise them in advance, and if I go back on my word, it's not my style. How about this, Shen Sangsheng? I can't do it myself, you come and take him down for me. After listening to Wu Jian's words, Shen Sangsheng's originally confident smile instantly wilted, and his confident smile froze on his face. Well, but. I think. Brother Jian, this base has a vast interior and many security personnel. We still need someone with high authority and familiarity with the terrain to guide us, which can save us unnecessary trouble. What do you think? Shen Sangsheng said awkwardly and politely to Wu Jian. Oh, yes, everyone in this base has to listen to me, and I can still guide you. I will never interfere with the tasks assigned by your amusement park, and first and foremost, I will ensure that your tasks are completed. Trek said to Wu Jian with a flattering expression on his face. Trek can completely confirm that the mysterious silver-haired man in front of him is not an ordinary contractor of infinite paradise, but rather a contractual apostle of the paradise. Those who can become apostles in the amusement park are all A.level war lunatics or elite killers. Trek dare not touch the mold of this evil star. The main thing is to pretend to be a grandson and save his life obediently. After listening to the harmonious speeches of Shen Changsheng and Chui Ku, he burst into laughter. Old man, there's no need to talk too much. Take me to the place where you keep the forbidden items, my task is this place. With a smile, he patted Trek's head. Ah! This place is a restricted area for stargazing, and if there's any mishap inside, I can't afford it. Trek immediately wept upon hearing Wu Jian's request. Wu Jian's palm rested on Trek's head and began to exert force. Old man, did you give you face? Wu Jian's eyes turned dark blue, and Trek's cold and murderous aura frightened Trek into sweating. Little, 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 let's lead the way. Everyone, please. Trek saw that the momentum was not right and immediately dispelled his fear of the purple robe archbishop and the headquarters, temporarily prioritizing his life. This is a good attitude, lead the way. Wu Jian withdrew his murderous aura and smiled again. Under the leadership of Trek, the group of Wu Jian walked unobstructed inside the building, with Shen Sangsheng silently following behind Wu Jian. Brother Jian, your mission is different from ours. The main purpose of our amusement park mission this time is to provide cover for Brother Jian's mission and make cannon fodder, right? Shen Sangsheng asked with a bitter expression on his face. So, the strength of being dependent on others is never one's own. Walking out of one's own path and controlling one's own destiny is the first step to becoming a strong person. 
There is no turning back, walking in front of oneself without turning back. I control my own destiny, Shen Sangsheng clenched his fist tightly, his eyes full of energy. Infinite paradise will only be a springboard for me, Shen Sangsheng, to step into the strong. Chapter 7 Accommodation and Control You are listening at NovelFull.audio In a spacious venue with dim lighting, six tightly sealed iron rooms are neatly arranged in the center of the venue. Chui could dismiss the Star Killer Guard guarding the entrance and arrived inside the venue with Wu Jian and Shen Sangsheng. Sir, this is the most confidential and precious property within the stargazing base that I am in charge of, along with six highly dangerous taboos. Trek enthusiastically introduced to Wu Jian. Oh. There are six things. Wu Jian curiously walked towards the first room. On the room was written the word number one, and a screen was embedded on the heavy air pressure iron door, carefully writing the basic research information on the taboos behind this door. Code name. Hanging magic statue, status. Prohibited hazard level. Six feature. Cannot look into the eyes of the object being held. If a target looks into their eyes, they will be perceived by the object as the target. When the object being held blinks or their gaze moves away, their strangulation rule will be triggered. Nature Non-living organisms that follow instincts, distorted products after being infected and eroded by subspace energy. Mobile method Ultra-fast movement suppressible level 5B. Level personnel or above discovery location. Blood God Church in the eastern part of the ninth realm of the Rift Space Accommodation Measures. Ensure that at least three individuals trigger their strangulation rules at the same time and then sequentially open and close their eyes to lure the contents into this containment room. The time gap between opening and closing eyes during each rotation should not exceed 0.5 seconds. With great interest, I finished reading its content and hooked my finger at Trek. Open it. Trek dared not disobey and walked reluctantly to the iron gate. A ray of light shines on Trek's eyeball on the screen, identity authentication completed, permissions have been granted. A mechanical sound sounded from the screen. With a click, the air pressure was released and the iron door slowly opened. A humanoid stone statue stands in the center of the room, with its head covered and wrapped in a thick layer of cloth. The cloth strip is filled with spells, faintly exuding the aura of prohibition. Looking at the scent emanating from the cloth, I felt like I had met before. But now his memory has not fully recovered, and this breath only makes him feel familiar, but there is no memory related to it. Where did you get this cloth strip from? Upon hearing the boundless question, Trek hurriedly said. Sir, it's not that I didn't say it, it's that I don't know any information related to it. These mantras and banners are all distributed by the Stargazing Society headquarters, specifically used to ban and control some high-dot-risk taboo items that are not under our control. Kid, please step back and don't look here no matter what happens, Wu Jin instructed Shen Sangsheng and walked straight towards the stone statue. Shen Sangsheng and Chui could guess what Wu Jin wanted to do and immediately left the room. Trek hesitated for a moment before closing the iron door of the detention room. The cloth strip was taken off by Wu Jin, and the grotesque face of the stone statue directly caught Wu Jin's eyes. It's really ugly, muttered incessantly. After the cloth strip was removed, the stone statue seemed to have been activated. The originally lifeless stone-like eyes moved flexibly. Those two pairs of stone eyes immediately fixed their gaze on the boundless space in front of it. The intention of killing erupted from inside the stone statue, and the two stone hands of the statue rushed towards Wu Jin's neck at an extremely fast speed, with the intention of strangling invading Wu Jin's body. The speed is indeed very fast, but it can only be considered a relatively mediocre category among level 6 taboos, said Wu Jian mockingly to the stone statue. The hands of the statue fiercely grabbed forward, only to find that the silver-haired man in front of them had disappeared. Lack of intelligence, with only rules and instincts, it lost its goal and instantly froze. The left will hit the back of the stone statue's head, 
and the originally stunned stone statue surprisingly shook humanely. Unable to communicate, lacking intelligence, only knowing the triggering rules of indiscriminate strangulation. You have no traits that interest me, by the way, it's mainly because you're so ugly to me. Without hesitation, he glanced at the stone statue in front of him as he was about to turn his head, and shot it on the head. The power of the dimensional space within the infernal body is compressed and amplified by the left will form of the demon concubine, and a bullet emitting blue energy is shot out of the barrel. The space at the tail of the bullet is torn apart by the powerful impact force, creating an extremely long crack. With a loud explosion, a headless stone statue collapsed to the ground, turning into rubble. At this moment, the left wheel form demon in Wu Jian's hand transformed into a ray of blue light covering these crushed stones, absorbing all the energy that was about to dissipate. With a burp, the witch transformed into a short sword and flew back into the hands of the universe. Master, if there are any high dot level taboo items that need to be taken down in the future, let me know. I need this energy to recover my injuries, the witch said to Wu Jin with satisfaction. Okay, no problem. Wu Jin agreed and walked towards the closed door. The space that was originally torn apart by the energy bullets fired by the witch slowly healed during this time. The iron door was kicked away and calmly walked out of the room. Trek's pupils twitched as he saw the broken stone containment in the room. He is not only fearless and powerful, but also afraid of being punished by the headquarters after the property damage of the stargazing society. Brother Jian, this old man closed the iron gate just before he ran away. This old man has impure thoughts. Shen Sangsheng without saying anything to the unsightly looking trekker, Wu Jin slowly walked towards the second detention room. Trek couldn't sit still and quickly caught up with him, saying, Sir, if the mission of the amusement park is really to destroy my stargazing club base, then I have nothing to say. But based on my intuition, Infinite Amusement Park won't suddenly challenge me stargazing club like this. At least the power of the stargazing club is still strong, and the amusement park will never send meaningless missions. Trek took a deep breath, so, adult, what taboos do you need to find or take it away? I have no second choice. Staring anxiously at Trek in front of him, he burst into laughter. It seems that the loss of items here really hurts you, so I'm not joking. I'm looking for an elevator, take me there. Trek immediately understood what the item he wanted after hearing the endless words. Trek led the infernal to the door of the last shelter. The research situation behind the door is written on the door. Code. Dimension elevator status. Unknown hazard level. Nine feature. A special entrance connecting mysterious spaces. All observation equipment and special items with observation records cannot receive signals and feedback information after entering it. No experimenters have successfully walked out of their internal environment, making it impossible to know their internal situation, property. Unknown mobile method. Unknown suppressible level. Unknown discovery location. The slums of the ninth federal city in the cracked airspace accommodation measures. Unknown. There is no difference from the conjecture of the infinite, as this is the entrance to a different dimensional space, similar in nature to the cracks in a subspace. However, Wu Jian is very curious about what is hidden inside, and even the connection between the park's imprint can be cut off. This is definitely not a simple taboo. Wu Jian kicked open the iron door in front of him and arrived at an old elevator car. The metal door on the elevator car is crossed by two mantra strips. Wu Jian pulled off the cloth strip and suddenly the indicator light on the once dilapidated elevator door turned on. With a ding sound, the elevator door slowly opened. Glancing at Shen Sangsheng, he calmly walked into the elevator. For some unknown reason, Shen Sangsheng gradually began to trust the boundless decision that making in his heart, perhaps this is the sense of security given by the strong. Turning around without hesitation, he also glanced at Trek. Trek was well aware of the eerie nature of this elevator, and there were countless experimenters sent in by the stargazer. No one had come out alive yet, so he didn't want to disappear like this. 
Trek's footsteps, thinking of retreating, suddenly stopped and quickly moved behind him. With me in the elevator, you may not necessarily die, but if you take another step back, you will die now, coldly urged Wu Jin. Trembling, Trek moved the short sword against his chin and obediently entered the elevator. Wu Jin also followed Trek into the elevator and pressed the door close button. Chapter 8 Endless Space You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Press the door close button, and the elevator door slowly closes. After the spell seal on the elevator was torn off by Wu Jin, the system of infinite paradise began to remind Wu Jin to summon the system's containment device to complete this task. But Wu Jian ignored the system voice and directly entered the elevator door. The system started issuing warnings and repeatedly urged everyone to leave the elevator, but they were still ignored. There is a dim yellow light inside the elevator, and there are no other buttons to choose from on the elevator wall except for the door closing button. As the door close button is pressed, the elevator door closes tightly. The three of them felt the elevator without an elevator shaft slowly rising, and this strange feeling became increasingly apparent, even the rules of space and time became chaotic at this moment. Interesting. I watched with great interest as the indicator lights on the elevator door flickered and the warning sound of the amusement park system slowly weakened. Ding. The elevator stopped and the locked door slowly opened. The sound of the infinite paradise system gradually disappeared during the elevator's slow ascent until it stopped. I felt like I had completely cut off contact with the park imprint inside my body. The three of them walked out of the elevator door, where everything was chaotic. Suddenly, a sense of weightlessness struck and the three of them lost consciousness in an instant. Wu Jian was the first to wake up, and when he opened his eyes, he found that the position of the elevator door behind him had been replaced by a white wall. Ah ah. It's over, we can't go back anymore. I'll die here. Trek, who was also sober on the side, looked at the white wall behind him in despair and shouted in despair. Shen Sangsheng also recovered and looked at the large white wall behind him, sacrificing his sword and cutting it towards the wall. On the snow dot white wall, only shallow sword marks were left. Save some effort. This place is no longer the world we are familiar with, and I can no longer perceive the passage of time and the sense of direction in space. Infinite spoke slowly. Shen Tsangsheng spoke casually. It's okay, there's a brother covering it. What am I afraid of? Wu Jian looked at the little fan brother, in front of him with a dumbfounded smile, and shouted to the already restless Trek. If you continue to be crazy here, it's up to you. If you don't keep up, it's not my business to die. As the words fell, Shen Sangsheng walked endlessly towards the snow.white corridor. Trek was called back to his soul by the boundless voice, his eyes hazy as he looked at the two of them and silently followed. I don't know how long I've been walking, but this snow.white corridor twists and turns like a maze, occasionally with branching roots appearing. But inside it is a white corridor that is completely similar to before. Wu Jian was okay, but he still walked calmly forward, and Shen Sangshin firmly followed Wu Jian to continue moving forward. Trek, the old man, followed behind the two, his eyes lost their expression, and the repeated scenes and fear of the space had brought his rationality to the brink of collapse. I don't know how long the three of them have been gone, maybe in a day, or maybe in a week. When Trek had already followed the team like a zombie, with no trace of a human-like expression in his eyes, he stopped abruptly, and a metal gate was prominently embedded on the white wall. Trek saw the metal gate and immediately ran towards it like he had lost his mind. Ha ha ha. Heaven won't kill me. This is the gate of the stargazing base, I recognize it. I'm going to be saved. Trek shouted wildly, eagerly opening the metal gate and running inside. Wu Jin did not stop him, watching him open the iron gate and run forward all the way. Shen Sangsheng looked at Wu Jin in confusion and said, Don't you stop him. If he runs away and notifies the headquarters of the stargazing society, we will be in danger. With an endless sneer, I stepped into the iron gate. 
The sense of direction in time and space has not been restored, and the connection of the park's imprint is also disconnected. We have not come out of this world. Shen Sangsheng looked forward doubtfully, and a dark metal corridor stretched forward, which was exactly the same as the inside of the star-gazing meeting, but gave a strange feeling. Wu Jin walked to a metal door on the side of the corridor and opened it, revealing a repetitive metal corridor inside. Where are the people? The guards. The star-killing guards. Where is my office elevator? This is not a stargazing party. Ah ah. Trek shouted from a distance. The two of them searched for the sound and came to a metal door, where they saw Trek kneeling on the ground, his sanity already shattered. It is indeed a magical space that can not only block the connection of the amusement park system, but also project the architectural scenes in our world. Without caring about Trek, who had already gone crazy under his feet, Wu Jian continued to move forward. Brother Jian, we've been walking like this, when will we end up? Shen Sangsheng's expression in his eyes was somewhat dim. Although Shen Sangsheng was also a determined person, he walked through countless repetitive metal corridors with Trek after leaving him alone. Until they passed through an entrance without a door and arrived at an empty street. It was still a repetitive and endless street, with the doors of houses tightly closed around. Shen Sangsheng tried to open them, but was unsuccessful. They kept moving forward like headless flies in this endless street, even he became impatient. At this moment, Wu Jin slowly spoke. There is someone ahead. Upon hearing someone, Shen Sangsheng immediately lifted his mind and looked forward. Several humanoid creatures collapsed in the middle of the road at a distant intersection. The two approached and several corpses dressed in federal military uniforms and uniforms of members of the stargazing society lay horizontally on the road. The body has completely decayed and dried, and the clothes are also in tatters and looks like they have been dead for a long time. They committed suicide, it seems that many of us entered it before, but none of us survived and walked out, Shen Sangsheng said to Wu Jian with a bitter expression on his face. Wu Jin nodded and continued to explore with Shen Sangsheng. Wu Jin also felt a bit heavy in this endless space. This space not only blocks signals, but even the dimensional power within the body cannot have much impact on this space. Although pocket space can be used, its spatial teleportation distance is limited. This is no longer the world before him, and he cannot locate the location of the previous stargazing base. But none of these things were told to Shen Sangsheng. He is now the spiritual pillar of this kid, and he is afraid that after telling him these things, this kid will be as rational as the old man. The only way that Wu Jian can think of now is to continue exploring, because staying in place is of no use. At this moment, a yawning sound came from the boundless waste. Looking endlessly at the witch at her waist, I saw that it had regained its vitality. Master, where are you coming from? I fell asleep after coming out of the elevator before, and I don't know how long I slept, the witch said. After Wu Jian arrived here, the demon girl on her waist fell silent, without any spiritual communication with Wu Jian. I didn't expect it to wake up after such a long time. This is an endless space. Brother Jian and I have been walking in this place for a long time, five days. A month. A year. There is no concept of time here, and we don't know how long it has been. Yaoji, do you know what this is? Shen Sangsheng asked the short sword at Wu Jian's waist. Endless space, let me think about it. I seem to have heard of it in the void before, said the short sword fairy. Wu Jian and Shen Sangsheng were pleasantly surprised, but they didn't expect the witch to know this place. Ah ha, I remember. Endless space, it must be that little guy in the back room. The witch seemed to remember something and shouted at the two of them. Wu Jin's eyebrows relaxed and he quickly asked. Oh. Do you know where this is? Tell me quickly and listen. The demon queen didn't slack off and said to the two of them. Since this is an endless space, you must have seen many repetitive scenes constructed based on reality, right? Shen Sangsheng exclaimed excitedly, Yes, yes. 
Yes, Sister Yaoji, please tell us what exactly is this place. This is the back room. It is a unique existence created by a small world called Blue Star in the Void. The energy in that world is scarce, and the humans living in it do not practice, but develop technology. With the development of technology, the population of Blue Star is expanding. The researchers in their world want to create a replicated and pasted spatial projection based on their world, which can provide a place for their overflowing population to live and extract resources projected from the real world. This is the back room plan. However, their immature space creation technology has created a different space. The birth of this alien space is very similar to that of a subspace, both of which are strange spaces projected from the real universe. But these two places are different from it. The cracked airspace has nine super large worlds, which are vast, energetic, and diverse, allowing for the birth of strange and chaotic places like subspaces. The back room is a product of human technology. The Blue Star world was originally small in size and was designed and created because humans needed a wider space, giving birth to this alien species, it's like a bug in a program, right? Subspace is a tumor born from the projection of the cracked space, like a virus of a program that devours this world. The back room is more like a program code that has gone wrong, only infinitely repeating and copying the projection of the real world, endless. Inferred from the fairy's words. That's right, that's right. That's almost what it means. At that time, researchers at Blue Star also discovered something was wrong and urgently stopped the project. But how could the space created be so easily destroyed? They only destroyed the door that entered it, but the problematic program still exists. So for a long time, every year someone inexplicably gets stuck with a bug in the world and enters the back room. Of course, they cannot leave, and only a few lucky people can get stuck in the real world again. Over time, as more and more people disappeared in the back room and died, the back room gradually developed its own will, drifting within the projection of the entire real universe after speaking, the witch slowly closed her mouth. After a moment of contemplation, he slowly said. After such a long period of copying and pasting, the vastness of the interior of this back room is definitely not as vast as we can imagine. Is there only a bug in the card space? As I pondered endlessly, I slowly rose up with the power of dimensionality within my body and felt the weakness of this space. Chapter 9 Subspace vs. Rear Room You are listening at NovelFull.audio Follow me. Wu Jin shouted at Shen Sangsheng and walked straight forward. Shen Sangsheng agreed and immediately followed suit. A faint energy rises endlessly and slowly feels within this space. At this moment, he felt a slight spatial disorder in the center of the road not far away. In the center of that road is an inconspicuous bug spot, where one can use their powerful dimensional power to forcefully open an exit to the outside world. However, there was a figure kneeling in the middle of the road. Trek, this little old man, knelt on the ground in a frenzy, his face covered in blood, and used his own blood to paint a strange pentagram pattern on the ground. Brother Jian, look, it's Trek. He seems to be depicting some formation, Shen Sangsheng said to Wu Jin. Wu Jin frowned and walked towards Trek, only to see that Trek was already like a madman, muttering an unknown spell in his mouth. He knelt in the center of the blood-colored pentagram and bowed to the sky. Brother Jian, this is a formation for worshipping and worshipping the subspace. He wants to worship his own body and summon the evil gods in the subspace. After examining this formation, Shen Sangsheng immediately understood Trek's intention. Trembling, Trek muttered a spell, and the pentagram pattern beneath his body remained unchanged. At this moment, Wu Jin laughed and thought of a way to break free from the constraints of the amusement park while continuing to indulge in free activities. He stopped Shen Sangsheng who wanted to move forward and expressed his thoughts to him. Shen Sangsheng exclaimed incredulously upon hearing this. Summoning out the left will form of the demon concubine, constantly instilling one's own dimensional power. Master, master, it's not possible. Yes, it's about to explode. 
The energy is overflowing. The witch quickly shouted. Wu Jian's expression moved slightly and he pulled the trigger at Trek in the middle of the road. A dark blue energy bullet shot out at lightning speed and exploded directly above Trek's head. The powerful dimensional force was compressed and purified, hitting the space in the center of the road. With a click sound, the space above Trek's head collapsed into a huge spatial fissure. At the same time as the spatial fissure appeared, Wu Jian immediately forcefully peeled off the amusement park imprints of herself and Shen Sangsheng, and reintroduced the amusement park imprints of the suit man and bald man who went on missions with Shen Sangsheng into her body. Then Wu Jian threw the two stripped marks into the direction of the spatial fissure. Wu Jian forcibly peeled off the imprints of the two, and with the newly opened space crack, his body felt a wave of weakness. But he dared not neglect and pulled Shen Sangsheng back at lightning speed. In an instant, the two of them had already run several blocks away. The spatial fissure slowly opened up, and the pentagram pattern under Trek's feet suddenly shone with blood. Countless blood-colored tentacles suddenly appeared from within, devouring the already weak Trek. Detected contractor information, detected contractor location. Detected the contractor's location. Within an unknown space, the amusement park is indicating the direction of the location. The location has been determined, and the amusement park is planting a teleportation channel. The construction of the nearby transmission channel failed. Build again. Build failed. Searching for spatial vulnerabilities and building transport channels. Please ask the contractor to move to the direction indicated by the system. In 15 minutes, the amusement park will set up a temporary emergency teleportation channel. After building the channel, please teleport and leave within 10 minutes. This channel is temporarily built and cannot exist for a long time the sound of the infinite park system rang out, and as the spatial cracks opened, the park's imprint reconnected with the system. Wu Jian and Shen Sangsheng ran together towards the direction specified by the system. The pentagram formation, after devouring Trek's body, went straight into the space rift. The amusement park imprint, which was originally floating in the cracks of space and was about to dissipate, was engulfed and shattered by blood tentacles. At this moment, the space crack is filled with red light, symbolizing the chaotic atmosphere of the subspace slowly surging into this space. Countless tentacles were tightly pulled out at the edge of the space crack, preventing the healing of this space. At this moment, inside the infinite paradise. The imprint of the infinite paradise has dissipated. What's going on? He is the only apostle I have trained to reach level A, and even in the outside world, level A is still one of the best. With the ability of the infinite paradise, it is impossible to fall here. The will of the infinite paradise sense the feedback given by the system. Is it the back room? He still went in beyond his means. How could he dare to enter such a place with his current strength? Hmm. And there is also the atmosphere of subspace. Is it the breath of boiling blood hell, the hand of the blood god? Blood god. You have bullied me too much in the amusement park. At least one S.level contract apostle has fallen like this in the future. I will slowly settle this account with you in the future. The two of them were not clear about what was going on inside the infinite park. They were now wearing the vests of a man in a suit and a bald man, and the park system was mechanically running its work. The will of the infinite park did not pay attention to the survival of these two ants. As the infection invaded the subspace, the entire endless space trembled. Countless empty whistles sounded in the sky, and huge high dot rise buildings and building fragments were smashed down from the sky. Wu Jian and Shen Sangsheng ran to the portal they were building. In order to prevent being hit by a giant building, they stood at the unfinished portal. Wu Jian pulled Shen Sangsheng into their pocket space and waited quietly for the portal to open. Endlessly weak, supporting the pocket space, the whole person felt slightly weak due to the previous operation. Shen Sangsheng looked anxiously at Wu Jian beside him. His own strength was low and he did not understand the mysteries of spatial ability. He could only watch anxiously as the situation unfolded. 
The chaotic and violent bloody aura within the subspace cracks began to sweep through this space. The originally empty streets were covered with ferocious bloodstains, and the sky began to rain with a foul smell of blood. The falling giant building was shattered into debris when it came into contact with the edge of the subspace crack. At this moment, a continuous stream of subspace creatures emerged from within, infecting the space with an evil and chaotic aura. The areas that have been invaded and polluted are becoming increasingly widespread, and the will of this endless space seems to be urgent. The sky began to split, and the vast neighborhood space began to collapse and earthquake. Not good. The infection speed of this subspace is too fast, and the back room wants to abandon and cut off this space, said Wu Jin weakly. As this space was gradually abandoned by the back room, the surrounding space began to become chaotic, and he had to forcefully support the stability of the pocket space against his already weak body. Brother Jian, why don't I go out? You can't hold on for long like this. Shen Sangsheng looked at the pocket space he had forcefully propped up next to him, knowing that with only Wu Jin himself, his pressure could be much lower. Shut up, I can't even protect you, a young man. I'm also claiming to be the master of the dimension. I'm the end of the void, the current guardian of the abyss gate. He shouted at Shen Sangsheng, his veins bursting on his forehead, and his blue blood slowly flowing down. At this point, the sky has been occupied by crimson, and the chaotic rules of subspace have taken over here. The will of the rear chamber has departed. The construction of the teleportation channel has been completed. Please evacuate the contractor quickly. The system sounds. Wu Jian picked up Shen Sangsheng and plunged into the portal in front of him. Chapter 10 Infinite Paradise you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. On the barren land, a silver haired man stumbled on the gravel. He was already exhausted, and a mysterious aura behind him drove him forward to escape. The dim sky is enveloped by a strange energy, with weeds growing recklessly underfoot and the land breaking down and rebuilding. The man didn't know what he was running, but he knew there was a dangerous and powerful presence spreading and growing behind him, and he had to tell his companions. The silver-haired man ran for an unknown amount of time and finally arrived at a huge black iron door. The black iron door stood like a mountain at the end of this world, and the silver-haired man collapsed in front of the door. He no longer had the strength to push open the door. A familiar voice rang in his ear. Wu Jian, wake up. You can't fall down. The boundless eyes opened, and Shen Sangsheng was seen shaking his body. Brother Jian, are you awake? That's great. Shen Sangsheng crouched in front of him and exclaimed happily. Wu Jian is lying in the reward settlement pool of the infinite paradise system, and the healing power of the system is slowly recovering his injuries. Congratulations to the safe return of the contractor. The amusement park system has started distributing rewards for this mission. Contractor Iron Bull Strength B. Level, A plus level. System error, waiting for system re evaluation. Wu Jian immediately forcibly closed the reward settlement, and he has replaced it with the park seal of the dead bald man. If the reward is settled now, it will definitely be detected by the system. The system detects whether the contractor has terminated the reward settlement and whether it will accumulate until the next task is completed before settling again. There will be a slight increase in the accumulation of a single reward task until the next task is settled, kid, you probably haven't settled this reward yet. He turned around and looked at Shen Sangsheng. Don't worry, Brother Jian. As soon as I woke up, I forcibly closed the reward settlement and asked the system to accumulate this reward until the end of the next task before distributing it, Shen Sangsheng said to Wu Jian with a smile. Well, although we have changed to someone else's vest, if the system checks carefully, it will still reveal our flaws. We need to find a way to evade the system's detection before the next mission is issued. Although I successfully changed my vest and was not discovered by the amusement park, it's still a pity that I can't indulge in the rewards of the amusement park for free. Shen Sangsheng shrugged helplessly and said. Wu Jian stood up and patted Shen Sangsheng's shoulder, 
then smiled and said. Follow me. The two left the reward settlement pool of the amusement park and returned to the interior space of the infinite amusement park. In the center of a huge square, there are several magnificent buildings. Above are engraved words such as, Gene Body Enhancement House, Gene Ability Enhancement House, Other Energy Enhancement House, Pharmacy, Blacksmith Shop, Grocery Shop, and so on. There are many people in the center of the square, some selling taboo items they have obtained from missions, while others are showing off their newly acquired equipment. Most people on the square are at level D and C, with a few having level B strength, but they only enter and exit buildings that strengthen themselves. Wu Jian led Shen Sangsheng to open his personal space, and the two of them plunged into it. Wu Jian came into the space and took a gray piece of flesh from his body, which was an object left behind when the projection clone of the day's nightmare dissipated. Wu Jian picked up a gray piece of meat and pulled Shen Sangsheng to open the pocket space. Wu Jian fiercely squeezed and burst the gray meat in his pocket space, but strangely, there was no scattered meat, and a gray mist flowed out of Wu Jian's hand. The gray mist slowly drifted and condensed from the crevices between the fingers into a terrifying figure. Damn it! Subspace creatures! Shen Sangsheng blurted out as he looked at the strange-looking monster in front of him. Hey, hey, why did you use what I left for you so quickly? Damn it! It's still in the amusement park. Do you know it's very dangerous here? OG realized he was inside the amusement park and almost cursed. OG quickly raised his hand, swallowing gray mist from his mouth on the palm of his hand. The gray mist permeated around the endless pocket space, blocking most of his perception. Ugh, the amusement park imprints of me and this kid have been stripped off and now replaced with the imprints of two deceased people. But this alone is not enough. Sooner or later, the system will detect a vulnerability, and I need your help. Without wasting time, I made a request to Ugg. Oji looked up in surprise and sniffed at the two of them, not bad, the park imprint on your body doesn't match your soul, so it's not completely bound. But if the system detects it a little bit, you will definitely reveal your presence. After a moment of thought, I reached out and pulled out the eyeballs from my stomach. He was about to crush it when his head, without any facial features, looked at Shin Sangsheng on the side. This is a reborn person from the cultivation world in this world, very interesting young man, Wu Jian looked at Shin Sangsheng calmly. The mouth on the palm of the nightmare's hand gave a strange smile. Although rebirths are rare, they are not uncommon in our eyes. But for the young man who can make you feel interesting, I'll just give him a hand. But after helping him this time, I won't be able to leave anything for you to help. You have to be careful on the road ahead. I'm your boss, why don't you worry about me? You should worry about yourself. She rolled her eyes uncontrollably. Okay, OG agreed, and the mouth on his palm and the buttoned eyes shattered with a loud bang, transforming into two mist that entered their bodies. After completing these tasks, the nightmare figure began to fade, and the gray mist in the space also became thinner. Warning, warning. Unknown intruders have been found in the park. All park contractors are requested to actively identify the intruders. Those who find them will receive rewards before the nightmare dissipated, he took a deep look at Shin Sangsheng. Strange little one, I notice that your luck is very peculiar. If you were the mistress of the goddess of luck, I would believe it. After speaking, the figure of nightmare blurred. Shen Sangsheng looked at the place where the nightmare disappeared in a complicated way. Did he praise his luck? But I always feel insulted. Shen Sangsheng, who was stunned in place, was stopped in silence. Before the gray mist that could shield perception dissipated, the two of them carved out the pentagram formation that Trek had carved in the back room on a stone slab. The depiction of the formation was completed, and Shen Sangsheng spat out a large mouthful of blood essence and poured it onto the formation. The pentagram formation on the slate emitted a crimson glow. Without hesitation, he quickly grabbed the slate and left his personal space, tossing it in the center of the amusement park square. 
the pentagram formation is not effective, and the sacrificial formation requires sacrificial offerings. At that time, Trek sacrificed himself as a quasi-A dot level strength and exerted all his strength to break through the space in the back room, which triggered the invasion of the subspace. The slate depicting the pentagram formation did not take effect, but still emitted a slight amount of chaotic energy belonging to the subspace. Looking blankly at the bustling square in front of me, a smile appeared on my lips. At this moment, people were constantly attracted by the stone slab in small groups and walked towards it, emitting the power of subspace. They knelt in front of it and began to sing. On the stage where so many factions are fighting, such as the Federation, Stargazing Society, and Subspace, it is undeniable that there are no other factions infiltrating each other. It is well known that a considerable number of contractors in the Infinite Park are military personnel voluntarily sent in by the federal government. Many subspace cultists mixed in the Infinite Paradise saw a devout expression in the eyes of this slate, changing their previous appearance and revealing a ferocious face to their sincere teammates around them. Warning, prohibited items have been detected inside the amusement park. Contract holders are requested to promptly destroy them, the alarm of the system sounded in the hearts of all the contractors, and many contractors with unknown causes were unaware of what had happened. What's wrong with the amusement park? It's been invaded by foreign enemies and prohibited items these days. It's been like this for a few days. A tall and strong man looked at his head in confusion. At this moment, his companion behind him showed a fierce look and stabbed the strong man's chest with a knife, dragging him onto the slate. Not enough. Not enough. More sacrifices needed. An old man with a beard and a near A dot level strength, smeared unknown spells with blood on his head, cut off the limbs of several lowly indenters, and threw them in front of the slate. Warning, warning, the system has detected a traitor from a contractor. Please immediately execute the remaining contractors, destroy prohibited items, and reward those who participate in the killing. Upon hearing the reward, the contractors joined forces to kill the crazy cult followers.